uh, mixed oxidant solution chemistry was actually discovered um, a little bit before MOX was, was founded in the early 90s, um, where it was a group of, uh, of, of government researchers who were given some money to go look at different ways of doing um, electrochemistry. And what they, what they found was when they did uh, brine electrolysis under specific conditions, they were able to get um, different chemistries and actually quite a bit different um, responses. Um, and, and back in those days, they were specifically looking at, at cryptosporidium kill, and, and this is a representative graph of, of some of the, the work that, that they started then, and we've continued even into the present day in terms of, of cell optimization. Um, if you look at this graph, on the, um, on the y-axis here, we have cryptosporidium uh, inactivation, or log kill. Um, and so logarithmic scale, and again, we're getting up to about three and a half log removal. Um, again, across the y-axis here, there are different cell configurations. So you can think of a cell configuration as being um, a, a spacing, uh, a different electrolytic coating, uh, internal baffling into the, inside the electrolytic cell that causes um, specific uh, flow paths, uh, that type of thing. And uh, the legend here talks about different cell set points. Now it says power here, and power is an important component of, of what the cell set point is. Um, but there, there are other factors that are extremely important as well. So you can see it going all the way from power A or set point A all the way to power E. And if you take a, a cell configuration, say configuration 6, you can go from what would be a, kind of a, a sodium hypochlorite disinfection efficacy at a little over a half a log in activation. Um, you can get a couple of orders, uh, uh, at least an order and a half of magnitude difference by changing the set points for that electrolytic cell. Um, at the same time, if you change the cell configuration, again, we're talking cell spacing, um, cell coding, et cetera, you can get almost all the way up to a three and a half log removal um, with, with cryptosporidium. And this is a little under a four hour contact time here at a five milligram per liter dose. You know, the, I get the question a lot about, you know, you know how do you know it's different and, and, and you know, how, do, how did you develop the technology? And we don't have a supercomputer downstairs that um, says, you know, that predicts that under these specific conditions you would expect the, the difference in chemistry. What we've done is we've systematically optimized for all of these different um, factors, cell configuration and cell set points, and we look at those combination of factors that lead to the best um, oxidant efficacy as a, as a key trade secret whereas our hypochlorite generators are really just optimized around um, lowest, uh, lowest cost um, or fastest payback. These are optimized around, um, around maximum disinfection efficacy. So if you don't take anything else away from what, I'm, uh, what I talk about, um, really it's, it's empirically derived and it's, uh, it's been optimized systematically. So then, you know, you get the question, well, what, are, what, are, what causes those differences? What's in mixed oxygen solution that's different than a, than a hypochlorite solution? Um, I'll start off by saying traditional measurements of those additional oxidants have not been successful, primarily because chlorine is such a strong oxidant, and in the thousands of milligrams per liter, it interferes with measurements, and it actually interferes with researchers wanting to put them in their multi-million dollar pieces of measurement equipment. Um, but there are a small number of known compounds that are formed from reactions of, of salt and water, and these are some of the, the anode products that you can expect to be formed and some of the cathode products that you can expect to be formed. And I'll, I'll sort of jump to the end here. Um, we, we've partnered with um, academics over the past 14 years uh, at MIOX and done a tremendous amount of internal research. Um, and, and, and what we've what we've come to the conclusion is, is that hydrogen peroxide is the additional oxidant in mixed oxidant solution. So because there's that additional oxidant, um, we get some co-oxidation effects with mix, mixed oxidant solution that provide some benefits and advantages from, uh, for our customers. From your superior disinfection, um, it's not too far a step to, to, get, um, to think of getting superior biofilm removal, which we've pretty much seen in, in almost every application where we've installed a mixed oxidant solution generator and there has been biofilm present. Uh, because you're able to strip out the biofilm and reduce your organic load, you're able to, to, to get uh, better residual maintenance and lower disinfection byproduct formation. 
Um, one thing I'm not going to talk a lot about is we have a we've observed a, a microflocculation effect uh, when when it's used in a flocculation process, uh, which can greatly reduce chemical costs and improve water quality. I'm not going to talk a lot about that one, but that's an additional benefit we've seen with the optimized mixed oxidant solution chemistry. This is another example of a of, a, of uh, enhanced biological efficacy with mixed oxidant solution. This is actually um, a study that was replicated by the Center for Disease Control. And these are Bacillus flow BG spores. And the reason we choose these is they're, they're, they're really hard to inactivate. They're one of those microorganisms that is quite difficult to inactivate, and, and, but, but easy to grow or easy to culture um, by, the, uh, by, by the same token. And what you can see is for different contact times, so this is 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and 60 minutes, for hypochlorite versus mixed oxidant solution, you get dramatically different inactivation results. Um, in, in the case of hypochlorite, you have over a thousand colony forming units remaining after 60 minutes. Whereas if you were disinfected, if you did, if you did the same disinfection with mixed oxidant solution, you have only 16 colony forming units remaining. And again, these are results that have been validated at third party studies uh, with the Center for Disease Control. Uh, I'm not going to talk a lot about this slide. We have a lot of third-party and peer-reviewed uh, disinfection efficacy studies that have been done. Um, this is a small, set point, a, a small subset of those. And again, it's just to confirm that we've done a lot of research in partnership with academia to validate our, our results. So from that superior disinfection efficacy, we, we, we see and again, in almost every installation that we've done where, where we know there's a biofilm problem, we've seen that mixed oxygen solution destroys biofilm more effectively than standard hypochlorite. And this is one example of some borescope images of where we've seen this. This is actually from a hot springs in Japan um, where they, um, they implemented one of our systems. Um, before they were using bleach, so sodium hypochlorite, they had a lot of biofilm growth. So this is a borescope image and you can see the kind of the mass of biofilm here and the coating uh, going down the, uh, down the pipe. They had positive coliform and Legionella hits, and in fact, they approached us because they had had a, a fatality resulting from a case of Legionosis. Uh, they were dosing pretty high, at pretty high levels, so one and a half milligrams per liter um, in their, at their injection point, and they were only seeing about a 2.2 milligram per liter free available chlorine residual. This is a little less than a month afterwards when they had switched over to mixed oxygen solution. You can see there's really no biofilm left in the pipes. Um, they got no bacterial hits. They'd act, they were actually able to drop their dose so um, by over half um, to 0.6 milligrams per liter, but they doubled their free available chlorine residual. And you know, if you think about this, or, or this is being you know, mimicked in a, like a potable water distribution system, you can imagine that you'd have uh, quite a bit less disinfection byproducts built because you're uh, lowering your, your dose as, uh, um, as well as your organic load, so you don't you don't have those uh, those chlorine and disinfection byproducts. 